All right, here's the thing. It's 2020, guys, so you know what that means. A bunch of you guys probably have a lot of resolutions in mind, and we're already two weeks into 2020, and I know the second day of January hits different, you know? So I have a few apps in mind that will help you guys to be productive because I struggle a lot with that as a college student over break. There is no incentive to wake up early or do anything really productive because no one's telling you to be productive. But anyways, I figured that it'd be helpful to share apps I use to stay productive, to build lasting habits and whatnot. So enough talk. Here are apps that I use. So the number one app, or uh, here, here, here we go. Here, I have five apps in mind, and I'm pretty sure there's a couple that a lot of you already know. And number one is My Study Life, right here. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but this is an app that I use to just list out a bunch of tasks that I have to do, like within a day, a week, or whatnot. And it actually helps even if you don't have classes at the moment. It's an app that is supposed to be used for scheduling your classes and then listing out the assignments of that course. But right now, it actually helps just to be productive. Let's see, it's really helpful if you want a online agenda that isn't as complicated as Google Calendars because I've tried using Google Calendars and it's just, I don't know, it's very like, I want something very intuitive and this this one app actually helps a lot and it's just as good as Google Calendars. If, and then second app that I use to be productive is not really an app that everyone would use if you're not really learning a language, but it's called Duolingo. So one of my habit building or resolutions of 2020 is to learn sp or apply my Spanish a lot more. I took four years of Spanish back in high school they're taking all all those years of spanish i really want to apply it somehow either with talking with someone in spanish or possibly traveling to barcelona or spain or mexico just to have some dialogue so i use duolingo too and it helps a lot with incentivizing me to keep on learning because there's streaks or you just you keep on wanting to fulfill those streaks i i have a 18 day streak so far and that's really fun and they they also have like a bunch of stories that are actually engaging for me to keep on doing in el bosque parte uno de dos in the forest in el bosque Cristina está en el carro con su novia Amelia so Cristina is in the car with her girlfriend Es un animal enorme. It's a big ass animal. <laughs> I mean, enormous animal. Corre! Run! Okay, third app that I used to use to be productive, but I don't use anymore. But I know it's going to be really helpful for people who want to stay focused on a certain task is called, let's see, Be Focused. Be focused up right here. So part of the idea of this app is to use this technique called the Pomodoro technique. In psychology, it's proven that you are the most productive and focused when you're working on a certain task for 25 minutes. And after 25, after those 25 minutes, productivity begins to diminish over time. And so this app really helps with that. It It's kind of like a timer too. And then it also has like... A, it shows how long you spend on a certain task, as long as you account for it on this app. Just try it on. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's apps that I have used to stay productive. And then, so another app I use to be productive. This is really unprecedented. It's not really known to be productive. It's more like a social... It's, called, it's considered a social media app, but... Discord. I know a lot of people use Discord nowadays. With every social media app, there is also a pro and con to it. It's a tool. It's not negative or positive. It's It depends on how you use it, basically. So I use Discord as a way to join a certain Discord community to, I don't know, to stay productive. So for example, since I'm trying to learn Spanish or to apply my Spanish speaking skills into my daily life more. So I went online. Here, I'll show it real quick. 
<clears throat> so given that you've already made a Discord account with this website, discord.gg, first, yeah, you log in and all that stuff, good stuff. I am trying to learn Spanish, but I don't, I really want a community to practice with too. So I just go online, Google it, and say, uh, Duolingo Spanish Discord. So then, obviously, I click this, and then you will find a link somewhere, if there is. So, discord.gg, and then you just click that, and then you're invited. You join it. You join it, and then you can go to any of the chats and say, Buenas noches? <laughs> and then, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Alright, so I'm going to join a Spanish Discord voice chat just to practice my Spanish. <laughs> this is a first, so I have no idea what they're saying. Um, which one should I join? Let's see. Okay, this guy's a... Okay, I'm gonna join this one. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Oh my god, my mic is always falling, so... Oh, okay. Huh! Huh! I can't, bruh. Bruh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Create invite, bruh. I was really about to join in. Um, okay, I'm gonna join this one and then wait until someone comes. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh man. Okay. How do you say? Uh, anyone wanna join me in this voice chat? Oh, Kieran. Communi, communi, communicar con Igor en el <laughs> por un minuto. So I said, anyone wants to communicate with me in the voice chat in LVC for a minute with a happy face. <laughs> but I feel like they're going to just not talk. Ah, I'm nervous. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. Okay, they're ignoring me. Okay, then. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Bruh. Okay. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> oh, someone said, Perdón, no anda muy bien mi micrófono. Sorry, no anda. Oh, he said his microphone doesn't work. Uh, how do you say, está bien? At least I got someone to respond to me. He's no. Cries and loneliness.